ook raar. Wie zijn Wat gaan we hier? Die goeie man. Hij is ziekelijk. Hier van mij. De Babbling Heads Podcast. Yes, yeah. So today, welcome to the Babbling Heads Podcast. This is your host, The Base One. It's seven. I am DJ Fingers. I am Adrian Kearns, not AK Domination. Charlie XTC. Oh, uh, and today we are basically doing an interview with uh, one of Revolution um, Records and Media upcoming artists. Um, well, basically, you have dropped the EP already. Uh, we'd okay. like to welcome AK Domination, writer, producer, MC. Away, away, away. Lovely to Thank be you. here. You. Jake, you know, the yeah. first time I, I, I saw you was um, when, when, when Celeste shared your. your, 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 your um, the first track that I've, I don't know what what is what it's called. It didn't yeah. really. No, nah, the flow, the flow got to me. The flow, yeah. I was oh like, yeah, nah, deeper. Um, east side, east side shit. So, mm. And then, the second one, I didn't at first. I didn't feel it that much, but then I showed um, my my son uh, a Judah Trackman, mm. and he was like, yeah, it's okay, then, but it's my it's about uh, it's about uh, twelve years old. Mm. But anyway, then while I was busy, the next track. Came on, it was and it was your your track, yeah. and he said, "Hey, that's that's the oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying." Oh, yeah. So I figured, okay, now nah, this new stuff, I guess a bit. Nah, like I, that's I'm a bit I old know. man. My vision from the get go was for the kids. You know what like I'm saying? People my age already have they already call fans for somebody for Drake for Little Wayne. You know what I mean? Mm. So like they, I don't really. Like to be frank, I don't really care about that that audience. Yeah, mm. check yeah. it. Uh, let me put it this way. Um, you know the song <coughs> P- Panda. Yes, yes. Pan, I was still working at Group. I was on the music um, selection committee. S- commit, committee. Yeah. And Panda came up, and we listened to Panda. I said, "Nah, it's a cock song." <laughs> and <laughs> how wrong, how fucking wrong was yeah. I? And <laughs> <laughs> with that track, I realized, "Okay, dude, so right of it, out. <laughs> get, get the get the the young guys to tell you like, okay, okay, that is that. If you feel it, then rock it in yeah. your mixes type of thing, man. Yeah. Type of thing, man." So yeah, no, dude, just a fuck the artist, bro. Nah, so let's. Um, why did you sign with with, with Celeste, though? Look, um, in this industry, being independent is it's a struggle. It's it's mm-hmm. hard. Look, look, it's possible. It's most definitely it's possible. Mm-hmm. But like, um, this is a, a a great opportunity, you know. And I'm not gonna think back a couple of years and like, yo, I wasted that. You know what I mean? Mm. So um, I'm making use <coughs> of the opportunities that are coming my way and. That's basically what it is. So I have a distribution deal with Revolution. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's dope. That was so basically you're still independent and stuff like that. If, if you're talking about distribution, in a sense. Okay, now nah, that's liquor. But now we we all in this together. We growing Revolution Music and Media and dope. and um, our entity, the Vault, as well. But um, yeah, we are a production company, the Vault. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. So, um, what you're saying now, you you. You're catering now more to the younger generation. Um, obviously, there will be some influences in terms of like you just mentioned, like the East Side flow, etc., from your first drop. So, who would you say has influenced you musically um, mm. as a as a writer, producer, as well as an MC? Ah, that's easy. Um, I have a list. So that's um, Drake, most mm. definitely. Um, mo- a lot of my influence comes from Drake. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Logic, mm. Joyner Lucas, mm. um, yeah. Lil Wayne, of course, um, Erika Badu, Shanae Aiko, because I, I utilize all of these different mm. wow. sounds in my music. Um, Queen. Yo, Nico, man. Bohemian Rhapsody. No, but that's my own music. You resonate. Yeah. Yeah. Like Earth, Wind and Fire. Nico, like man. Like all yes, of that yes. old, very white. Mm. All of that, all uh. of those people like influence my sound. Mm. But Ken, people like Kendrick Lamar, they 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 tap into that old, yeah. that old mm. feeling. But that's that old, it, that's what hip hop is. Exactly, mm. it's it's sampling what has been left there for you, like yeah. what's, mm. what's been left behind. You know. Yes, yes. A spin on that on that that question. Seeing that you are a rapper producer, yeah. Who is your favorite rapper producer? J Cole. J Cole. I, I thought 100%. of hundred uh, percent. No? Yeah. Is it the only one? Yeah. No? Um, okay, Tyler, the creator as well. He's not oh. the best lyricist in my opinion. He's a bit too abstract for me, but he's a very good producer mm. and he's a good rapper. Like he has his audience. So mm. I think he, what 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 makes him special is the antics mm. he puts on 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 audio. 
he can put that that, that same feeling on the on visuals. The visual, you know what I'm saying? That weird um, where he's half mm. half a <laughs> half a, a, a horse mm. with the with the hair and stuff. Mm. I do. I, <laughs> I love like, that, but I, I love the brass music. He caters for the short <laughs> attention span. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all of like us. <laughs> <laughs> Your single, um, darling. Yes. Sir. Was it inspired by this, the, the town, darling? Oh, oh, oh Atani. <laughs> the darling made me do it. No, that was a project Falco did. Not necessarily like. Um, so um, after now, I come working with Revolution, and I knew that they had links to Aminaron, and I feel like his sound is very mm. international. It's it's what I'm pushing. You know what I mean? Mm. So um, I asked Mr. Ace, um, Ashley Ace. Yo, if you could potentially like organize a, mm. a feature with him, and he's like, nah, give him a call, okay. see what we can do. So that very same day, now I went home, went to go listen to Amina Ron songs, like all of his songs, understood more or less what his vibe was. Mm. Went to the computer, found a sample, made it a concept, and the whole beat, everything clear in like 30 minutes, yeah. and emailed oh. it to him. Part of that song. Reminds me of one of his previous singles that they had. Eh? Yes, that's a cold summer type vibe or like. It's a Drake vibe also, no? Like Drake I like was on. You hear all my influences in my music, mm-hmm. so yeah. No, nah, it's dope. It's dope. Yeah. Um, seeing that I was on the on the music uh, um, Good Up Events um, music committee, yeah. I can see that song not going through. Eh? Nah, I can see that that song. I I'm respect, not saying respect. obviously they they. I would say yes if I would. But like that I, song. the way I wrote it was like there's no cussing in there. There's no yeah. profanity. Mm. It's. It's, it's meant for yeah, meant for radio. Meant for radio, you know what I mean. And in terms of like the inspiration of the lyrics and stuff, like I how I make music is I make the beat, and the beat will explain to me what emotions it wants to convey. Oh wow! And then the words will come. Mm. Is that the process every time? Yes, or? most of the time. That's quite that's quite different to mm. like the general way mm. of doing things. People like, generally write words or like like you must understand what the, the the trap stuff. No, the beat is doing a lot of work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. So yeah. You need to allow the beat to do yeah. its thing. You know, so like I listen to the space. Like music is about time. It's the space mm. in between the words, not the when the word yeah. drops. You drops. know. So yeah, I focus on that, and then the words will fill up, fill in those spaces. I just want to check, like in terms of. Um, because you're both stablemates in terms of you and Crowbars. When Crowbars dropped his first video and <coughs> uh, single, there was cussing in it. And when we when we heard it, we were like, ah, oh, man, it's like, how's this going to get on the radio? Obviously, they have the radio edit, but to release a music video with the cussing in it, that for me was like not the smart move. But mm. yet your process is is completely different. You you write basically for radio, for international. Yeah, well, I, 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 I can, I choose to in certain, mm. in, like mm. if I have to, you know? Yeah. Um, but like, if I want to be free, I'll be free, you know. Right? Yeah. yeah, but I don't think like radio don't really care as long as you send them a, r- a radio version. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. it's clean, not claim to be clean, because oh, yeah. that was a problem that that Grant always always had. Oh, yeah. like, like they would get this uh, track and then they would s- even Sony sends you sends sends them uh, um, dirty versions, mm. saying that it's clean. Yeah, so I mean, if you release your own stuff for your own market without mm. the, without the radio in being involved, mm. you can. <coughs> You can release you it, can it, release it, it, it the, the, the as long version. as you have that little parental adversary there. You yeah, know, yeah, and, yeah. And you say, my EP. Perspectives. Um, perspectives. Yeah, these were literally just different perspectives, different mm. vibes. Like, I'm someone that likes to jump into perspectives. You know, you'll never run out of content. You know, mm. like, I have a conversation with you, I'll, I'll get a perspective, you know. That's mm. a song, potentially, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that four-track EP is... Mm. Four different perspectives of AK domination. Mm. Yeah, that's dope. Is there any features on there? Um, yes, there is one feature there. Uh, Crazy J Suave, like I, someone I'm working with, like on a regular basis. Okay. He's a very dope trap artist in the industry right now. Um, yeah, that's who that is. <laughs> and how did it come about? How, did, how do, you, do you do? Are you friends with the bra? Or? So my manager Shaden. Um, Knows crazy J Swave like they they were in school, mm. so like that that's the tie that he had with him, and he knew that crazy J was doing big things in the industries, mm. and he knew my my capabilities, so he basically organized that connection connection. Okay, yeah, cool. just 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 like I'm I'm I know you saw hip hop go and stuff, but if yeah. somebody watched this podcast now, yeah, um, they like if they, and they didn't know you, yeah. I, I'd like to get to know you, like oh, away yeah? from. Okay, uh, so do you have lighties? Are you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 How many girlfriends do you have? <laughs> okay, so um, 
to summarize, no, I was born here in Cape Town, oh, yeah? Mowbray Hospital. Um, lived here for maybe for like three years. Parents split. My mom took me up to PTA. Lived there for most of my life. Um, moved to Woodbank. Um, did college there. Worked for ESCOM for a bit. Uh, oh, for a bit. Yeah. I was, I was so like when, you, when, 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 you, when, you, when you left the load shedding happen now. When you <laughs> left, you <laughs> the brother. I had the nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. What kind of says all the copper there? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, after that, moved back to PTA. Um, and I moved, I lived in the studio, when bro. So mm. um, I actually met my baby mama in the mm. studio. Um my son was conceived in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> what? Eight mile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I have a son. He's a uh, he's a year old, Mikhail. Mm. Oh, same as me. Yeah. So I can't wait yeah. to see him. He's back in, B- okay. in PTA. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm. That is pushing the side yeah. for him, and then yeah, I'll see him. I'll see him soon. It's quite interesting because um, I didn't. I obviously don't know your background, but now I, I get a sense that uh, where you're from. Most people will. It aspire to become a rapper, artist, mm. and they're from Gauteng. Yes, yes. They actually stay in Gauteng. They don't necessarily come to Cape Town because Cape Town is like very... Um, the, the, slap, the, slap. The, the risk is quite high. Mm. It's just a stigma. Is you it? know what I mean? Like People in CBT think it's popping in, in, in yeah. that side. Well, it mm. is kind of, but like I mean, in terms of um, getting into the scene, it's, it's the same struggle here. Is it's, it? it's there, you know mm. what I mean? So it's no different for me, to be honest. No mm. difference at all. Because I'm from Pretoria. Mm. Mm. So I'm actually getting much more traction here in Cape Town, to be mm. honest. I think the opportunities are there. People just need to get up off the asses yes, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. get it, you know? Mm. Word. Simple. I think that's always been the, the difference between, like, when I mentioned slabs, that is because I think the Cape Town industry, to a large extent, um, and we've seen this um, with previous guests, where they expect that the doors must be open for them instead of hustling for it themselves. Like um, Nantel also mentioned, they must take sovereignty of the craft because for somebody like I mean I don't as well to have gone up to Joburg and to come back now and he's doing a, a mad load of collabs now here in Cape Town. Whereas when he was in Joburg he didn't quite hear so that much from he was he was popping there, doing stuff, international stuff as well. But yeah. But I mean now since he come back to Cape Town it was youngster, Nadia, Jafta, uh crowbars yourself and we just see now the brass like drinking is like it's almost like you need to come back to the source yes. to the revitalize the same mm. with youngster. He went up to Joburg also, remember? Yeah. But he had a f- couple of features that side, eh? Yeah. But I mean, no th- features. But his business popped the side. Yes. yes. Um, which is good. Which is a good thing. I think as 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 um, colored people, as oh, yeah, colored people, you know, yeah. we were like, do you know that we have the largest gene pool in the world? As colored Are people. We? Yeah. No, yeah, this we conversation have, every week. We <laughs> have Alice in us, yeah. So, like, I just feel like we are different kind of breed man like we we fucking amazing yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean and yeah we need to i mean Ron is promoting that he's mm-hmm. giving back to the community he's looking for that artist mm. yeah where he comes from mm. so and, 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 and i think yeah. we want to identify with stuff like it i mean we have this conversation all the time mm. yeah. Ca- colored people are looking we are we are craving we don't even have a leader me bro yeah in this in country. country we don't we don't have anything we don't have we don't have role models we don't mm-hmm. have we, we mm-hmm. no, there is, there is. Been no, we have pr- prospective uh, leaders coming up mm. yeah, yeah but ask ask the light is someone so ask even someone my age bro yeah. I, co- I couldn't tell you mm. who is my mm. colored leader no, in you this country say. so but obviously when you say leader do you mean like role model or do you in all aspects of the word okay. all aspects of the word yeah like Someone that, like, even in Parliament, someone that's actually, mm. like, I don't see any colored yeah. leader, you oh know. Yeah. Trevor yeah. Manuel's out, I think, was the last, the last bastion of, oh of yeah. colored representation mm. on, on a high level. Do you think it's by design or do you think it's by accident? I really don't want to, I really didn't, didn't, didn't think we were going to go that way. We always go that way. But I think <laughs> nah, we should. Like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was a special person. But, like, I think it's it's conditioning, man. It's conditioning. Um we haven't been acknowledged as as a people really mm. i think still today we're not 100 percent acknowledged as playing a, a a major part in the way the country is today mm. in terms of the culture and the you know everything i think we don't we're not getting our recognition as as, mm. as a race in this country Check your, um on your ep yeah. this type of this type of views and this type of um do you put it in your music 
Yes, subliminally, it's a very, very subtly, maybe yeah. very subtly. I don't wanna overbestate people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's dope. It's oh, dope. Yeah. It's 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 not a lot of trap artist that that flows on the trap stuff mm. that really spits. Mm. There's a few. I'm not saying, you know mm. what I'm saying, but there yeah. is a few. But uh, but it's dope that you go you go in that route, man. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to to hearing more of that that Ooh. type of. Crazy, sh- crazy shit coming. Um, yeah. your first track, no, the first track that was that was released on on the socials. Yeah, so the word, the N word was used in it. Yes. Like seeing that I'm like a, a old, old head type of yeah. type of thing, oldish type of head. We were always like said, Kiki, we were taught, Kiki, that word is off, off. Um, you can't use the word because yeah. obviously it's it, it's not relevant to German. Yeah, but nowadays we fight, we play around like our our women, you know, you know mm. what I'm saying? It's the context. That so how do you how do you how do you reconcile using it in the music though? Um. Besides being a colored man, I'm an African man. Yeah, you understand. And yes, that that word now is has a totally different context um, where it comes from, you know, and what uh, what it was intended um, to do, you know. But we need to give it a different context. Mm-hmm. When I use that word, I use it in a different context, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, that's that's where I come. Where in what context are you are you referring to? Like. If I'm talking about my nigga, I'm talking about my brother, you know, yeah. my friend, you know, mm. um, and nigga in general, just referring to uh, another African male, you know, mm. um, whether you colored or Kosa or Zulu or whatever, like person of color, basically. person of color, mm. yeah. I th- I th- I th- yeah, because I mean, like, um, even in with the American artists, they when they use it, they they, yeah. they, they at, at, there was a conversation and said. We're gonna take this thing and not let it be our exactly. chain. Yeah, we're actually gonna make it, use it as a liberation, exactly. and, the, and 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 that's how they use it in the in the hip hop. Yeah. So and similarly, I also think like mm. when you use a colored term. Yeah. Because colored, if you nasty, see, you know, you you were you were Zulu male, you were black male from South mm. Africa, now you were African male. Mm. You can you can say it is fine. Yeah. Mm. I'm a colored male. I come. I'm my descendants is from Khoisan, my bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm an African male. <laughs> yeah. So what is the? the uh, yeah, you know no, what I mean. No, the the the, the mm. same way I, the 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 old head in me, would would, would frown when 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 I when I when you use it. Yeah. It's the same when the Joba cats use it. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But that's that's my. You know what I'm saying. I'm it's, from it's the, that's how we speak. Like we mm. we have a very American yeah tone mm. in our accent. But I remember um was it now was it um AKA when he was on the sway. Was it yes, Sway yes. or some of the overseas, overseas um, American yeah. um, interviews? They asked him about the word, eh? Yeah. And he, I think he also said the same thing. Now it's it's, it's um, that he grew up on hip hop music, and mm. the word wasn't used as a as in a negative context. In a neg- yeah. negative context. Yeah. So they obviously use it as as a word of endearment or something mm. like that. But I think. The problem comes in when white people use it. Yeah, there was yeah. an interview yeah, with, with, with with Ice Cube, mm. where he says we that the, the this um, was it Bill Maher used the word, and he said, um, "Look, we we've we've taken that word from you guys, mm. and we're using it to our benefit now." Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when you guys use that word, it's like a dagger, man, mm. because it's it's from a white person. It it it's, it sounds more um aggressive so aggressive and, yeah. and, 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 and it has the, history. the yeah. history is yeah. attached history, to the world yeah. yeah. I mean. and unfortunately now why it's still so touchy is because a lot of um the european people that are, are in our country don't mm. acknowledge that shit they don't mm. acknowledge that yeah, yeah. now you get told things like no, just just get over it it's like it's like 2020 what? already like you living like you living in beautiful houses yeah. you know what i mean that and w- of loving of money that was passed down to you, like it mm. here we go, generation. Oh, you know what I mean? But it gets tricky. It gets mm. tricky because there was a Kendrick Lamar incident. Yeah. Don't even know about it. We called up a chicky and she was supposed to rap, and um, oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. And then she rapped and whatever, and she used the N word, and he was like, no, 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 you can't use the word and whatever, whatever. And um, fair enough. And then she was everybody booed her and whatever because it was a, w- a white chick. Mm. And then she was, and he continued with the track, mm. and then the whole crowd was was shouting nigger, whatever. But there was white people in the crowd, so mm. it gets a bit sticky because when the white chicky that he called up said said mm. the word, it was a problem. But when the guys in in the crowd 
that he is mm. ra- just rapping yeah. the words that he's saying mm. he's mm. also saying it so in one way he they use it as a word of, of of endearment or, or you know your friend yeah but in this in a, in a, in the same breath you actually give, the artist is giving the white people permission to say it because obviously they're, they're like, going to sing along to you know what i'm yeah. saying so but it gets sticky i i think not though i think they those those white people need to know their history mm. and understand what like if someone does front like catch them on that and then they must be able to explain yeah. themselves and where they're coming from and why they're saying it mm. and mm. what you know what i mean yeah so it's on them yeah. to know the history to 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 be able to explain themselves if they want to say that shit. Yeah. I I don't think we had that conversation yet. I think white people even like when I have a conversation with a white person. Yeah. They almost they say no it's not me it's my forefathers. forefathers yeah. Which is fine. I agree with you. But we, you like you're saying that history you should acknowledge, you acknowledge that your correct. forefathers were the result of slavery, mm. were the result of me. And not just that um even today they must uh, acknowledge that the, the system is built, was built for them, for them. Yeah. yes they must acknowledge mm-hmm. that yes. that the the, the person white of privilege. color yeah the white privilege yes. they must acknowledge the fact that the white uh, um, a white person has it a bit better yes you know what i'm saying yes it's almost like the k word in, in, in south africa <laughs> but the thing is I like even, even with the k word um who was it was it Arthur? Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't call me yeah. yeah yeah so i mean they took ownership of it yeah. it's like but you can't still like who's that penny estate agent that oh tried yeah, to use penny's that word it's yeah. like yeah we'll, we'll we'll come down with you on like with the law with the full weight of the law and yeah. it's not right because over here america might be a bit further along in terms of now coming out of segregation etc but we 25 26 years out of apartheid so still very fresh and with us it's the weirdest mm. thing the people of color are the major the majority of yeah. the country we're not the mon- minority the but, but mentally but we but mentally we've been conditioned to still yes. be subservient yes, yes. yes. We'll, st- we we'll still see that white man in the road and say oh sorry boss uh, yes move out of the way it's like now we sort of like and it's an adage i i came to um experience like being in the cbd it's like you're going to buildings and you think you're I was I wasn't meant to be as like you feel you don't belong yeah. in certain yes, spaces. Yes, that's that's. But then if you know that you've been conditioned, you know yeah. it helps with breaking out of that man. Yeah, and just just in terms of that, you like you now you yeah. in you 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 aspiring artist. Mm. You know the industry is quite. Look, there's artists, but the industry. When I talk about the business side of things, mm-hmm. the endorsements is yeah. still quite white run. Yes, like yes. you know, if you want to get a sprite, <coughs> you're gonna have to speak to Opperman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do you how are you, you how are you going to handle that? What, what is your views on that? Well, like I, ma- I I had a conversation um I think with my girlfriend and I uh, made mention of no with uh crowbars actually. Sorry. <laughs> and um I basically explain how we need to not view ourselves like he's from Parkwood. Oh, yeah. So I based him <clears throat> the Owens day, don't view yourself as a bra from Parkwood or a citizen that's in Cape Town that lives in Parkwood, view yourself as a citizen of the world, you know, mm, yeah. which, which is what I do. Yeah. Mm. And I think that's going to help me. I agree. I agree. You know what's, what's the interest with, with, when it comes to that, eh? is the fact that we all citizens of the world, but if you come from Africa, if you come from a so few, few other countries, you have to apply for a visa, but if you're American, you, you can just fly. You know what I'm saying? So th- for me, I feel like mm. they are more... more like uh seen as citizens of the world but we don't yes, you know but what that's I'm saying? all still part of the conditioning thing that they're mm. doing mm. that subliminal that we better yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i mean the dollar is better and i think like yeah, we touched yeah. on this last week when we spoke about the race um and tribalism etc and the sup- in use you mentioned also it's a human thing where people put themselves forward as being better whether you're not comparing christianity and islam judaism etc buddhism it's like there's always at levels it's like no, my god is better than yours or my skin color is better than yours or yes. my culture is better than yes. yours uh-huh. and i think once we as humanity decide okay, okay once you cut us we all bleed red hey mm. once we all colored me bro there's that's no a, problem that was exactly <laughs> what i said last week i said it, it's gonna come to a point where everybody's gonna be so Beige. intermixed yes we're gonna be because <laughs> everyone is like oh you got what <laughs> so future projects projects what what do you what do you plan um i have an album that i'm working on i don't i'm not gonna do Make mention of any mm. release dates or anything mm. because I want to take my time with it, which is ironic because it's called my time. So, nice. um, spend for youngsters, uh, things like time. I, mm. not, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> Shit. It's, it's the first time I hear about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm working on a, on a very dope album. Um, 
I had hoped for it to be like just me on all the songs because I produce everything, like mm-hmm. most of the stuff you guys hear, like yeah. every like stuff I posted on the socials, I produce everything myself, bro. That's dope. So, um, yeah, like I was hoping to do everything myself, but I think I'm gonna have a few features mm-hmm. on nice. there. It's gonna be it's gonna be a trip for everyone. Like I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Like yeah, yo, for sure. So, what what you also writing for Judah? Um, are there any other artists that you write for? Um. Not currently, no. Mm. Uh, but like I always have, sometimes I write songs no, and I hear a different kind of voice to it. Like I can hear that, that I'm not going to be doing yeah. that. You mm. know what I mean? It comes with doing um, writing with different perspectives as yeah. well. You know, you find yourself writing. Mm. Yeah. And specifically also Judah is a different genre completely to what, yeah. to what you're doing. Yeah, so but like you I'm having to learn mm. a lot though um, in terms of writing for a vocalist, you know. Mm. Um, now that they like, like it's not now just me like hearing a different voice. Yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. like I have to make something that's gonna correspond with her vibe and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it has to be her words. Yeah, and it's one voice. thing I also picked up from the from an interview and what you mentioned also in terms of your influences. Um, you both share the the love Erika for Erika Badu. Badu. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Erika. Oh, yeah. Like Erika Badu is held in high regard in the hip hop industry. Mm-hmm. I think. No, definitely True. for sure. Yeah. Tell tell me, do you do you spend time with the with the artist? Before you write for them, yeah, because um, <coughs> Judah was on here where, where she said she she spends time with the, with this with the song and try to connect with the words and make sure that yeah. it connects to something that she experienced. Mm. Yes, that resonates. It, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, so so you you, you yeah we have convers- we had conversations shared um shared a few plans you know <laughs> what I mean <laughs> um, smoke weed every day. day yeah so like we. We we had conversation like th- like I explained when, with writing for someone like having I can have a conversation with you understand more or less your perspective mm. and then we can mm. put it down you know what I mean yes. so that's basically how that went yeah if 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 you had to give some advice right now thirteen year old yeah writing you know in school not in school in this case with lockdown mm. what would you say would be some of the things that they should look out for or some of the things that they should push towards so that they can aspire to become some like like you well if if they are artistic mm. um not autistic artistic no right? artistic okay. just making sure just making if, sure. if they if they if they are on the path of mm. making music no um firstly like if it's meant to be no like i i was like i was at points where i was like now nah, i'm done with music you mm. know what i mean mm. but mm. then i always find myself Going writing back. i'm writing you know what i mean so like it always finds a way back in your into your life you know um uh, secondly, if I'm honest, mm. the schooling system is not the best place mm. for for artistic people to be. True, yeah. not the best place. Like, if they can be a home school, that would be great. But like, I oh well, like I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. But I think just persevere. You know, what's meant to be will be. Everything happens as it's supposed to happen. Mm. You know, um, but also think big. Don't think where you're from. Um, vision the places and the things that you want to acquire and uh, 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 think of them as already being attained. You already oh, yeah. have it, mm. you know. One thing I'd like to ask you, from, like, with the whole corona, COVID-19 lockdown, has this affected your... We know most, most musicians make their money from live performances. What what you have up, up your sleeves um, where people can come out and view you? Because we're going down to level one soon. Yeah, now we're going to be making a few appearances um in the clubs and the pubs you know as long as they have 50 people in there mm. oh. so were you guys practicing <laughs> uh, so were you with uh, the practice sessions yeah like we rehearsed we rehearsing and stuff like that because we know what's coming you know mm. so yeah. we're gonna have a lot of opportunities in terms of going out to clubs we have mm. some connects nice nice so, so, dope. so now uh, i can see i can see what's the list signed you do um yeah you're respect. not just uh I can see that you're yeah. not just the artist that's going to rely on her to do yeah. to do everything. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like you said in the beginning, it's a partnership type of thing. It's, yes, it's yes. really working together. Yes, and uh, it's dope, dude. Uh, also, I, like, really I, like, I, like, I like his the, very similar to um, eavesdrop. Like there's there's a deepness to you. I hope you don't mind me. I'm not. No, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm not. I'm not kind <laughs> of guy. But there's a there's a there's a, there's a deep understanding of what you want to do. Yeah, and it's and not it's just something. Yeah, there's not just something that oh, yeah. I got I got ten thousand hits. 
because mm. of a 30 minute, uh, yeah. 30 second video yeah. that I put up. It's something that you've been aspiring to for a long time. Yeah. And so I asked you that question, yeah. like, like what's the frustration like and how you've moved from Pretoria to here. But you obviously have something inside of you that's driven you to here. Yeah. And it's probably going to yeah. drive you until yeah. you're 60 years old sitting with your guitar. Chief. You said it perfectly, yeah. my bro. Yeah. Perfectly. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so from the babbling heads, uh, we'd like to urge everybody, give the man AK Domination a listen. Download Away. these... Um, his music from Revolution Music and Media. Uh, yeah, follow his socials so we can check him out live. I think, yeah, for us, it's like also we want to get more out into the scene again mm. just to check out the events because, like, yeah, six months has been hard on everybody. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, we need a bit of a pickup, a bit of a revitalization. So, yeah, we'll check you on the next one. This is me, the Base 187, signing out. Figures. And then Kearns. Charlie is to see. It's a learning curve. Oh.